Welcome back to art, everybody. Culture is expressed in many different ways. And I'm really excited to be collaborating with your classroom teachers on this How We Express Ourselves unit. We are going to be investigating architecture, primarily Hong Kongese architecture. In order to do that, we are going to go on a little bit of a history tour and see what exists and what did exist. We do know that people started settling in Sai Kung at least 300 BC because we found relics and we found kitchen utensils and we found evidence of life. And we also know that the Qing Dynasty moved in and there were fishing villages and pirates. And then of course, Hong Kong became a central figure in the trading war. And so Britain decided it wanted a bit of the action and at least Hong Kong and Kowloon and the new territories from China for a period of a hundred years. And that their influence can be seen, especially downtown in colonial architecture. If you look at government buildings, many still exist. And they were built by the army, the engineers of the British army. And then of course, Hong Kong just totally embraced contemporary architecture. It has an explosion of population. Hong Kong has 7.45 million people in an area the size of New York City. So how do we house everybody? This is when the skyscrapers started popping up all around the place. Now, you're going to be able to choose one beautiful building to draw today. You might choose a more traditional temple or a Chinese dwelling. You might be inspired by colonial architecture. You might, like me, have fallen in love with the apartments that are just crammed together but have lots and lots of character. Or you might go for something more contemporary. Let's take a look throughout history and then let's decide which building we want to draw today. Kowloon Walled City was built by the Qing government. It has subsequently been destroyed and materials used for the airport, but parts still remain. The Chi Lin Nunnery is a Buddhist temple which was built on the traditions of the Tang Dynasty. The Po Lin Monastery was built by three visiting monks from China. Colonial architecture often refers to the British rule and the influence it had upon the buildings during this time. Many of these buildings are influenced by army barracks and they have verandas added to them. The Bank of China is one of the most recognisable landmarks in Hong Kong. The female architect Zaha Hadid designed the Jockey Club. The Lippo Building, or the Lego Building as my son likes to call it, was built in 1988. The M Plus Pavilion is one of the first permanent galleries for contemporary art in Hong Kong. After you've chosen one building, Using a pencil and a ruler and an eraser and a fine liner, start drawing your line drawing. You can see here that I have drawn one of the Chinese temples. The colonial architecture in Hong Kong is very grand. And as I said before, it was built to look like an army barrack, but then verandas were added to make them look even more austere. I love the Hong Kong apartments, the ones that are all squished together with loads and loads of character. You often see people taking lots of photos of these beautiful buildings. The Bank of China is iconic for Hong Kong. The Hong Kong skyline at night is amazing and this building definitely stands out. Have you learnt one thing today that's new? 
Can you walk past one building now and look at it and understand it a little bit better? I hope so. So what I want you to do now is to choose one building. You will be using a pencil or a fine liner. It will be a line drawing. And this drawing will be used next time to push it further and create a cardboard textural tile. Let's get started. <laughs> 